You know, I'm realizing from the stains on this board that I need a new dry erase board, don't I? Anyway, we've been doing a lot of triangles, a lot of right triangles, but I know we covered these in previous videos, but I just wanted to do a really quick review because we're going to go into a slew of proofs coming up. So, reflexive is the reflexive property of congruence. Any figure is congruent to itself. It's also called the identity property. And it means if line AB is congruent to line AB. You can also go back to see video number 27 and it'll go into a bigger description of this and more detail. Then we've got the symmetric property of congruence. A congruence may be reversed. If triangle ABC is congruent to triangle XYZ, then XYZ is congruent to ABC. You can go back and watch video number 28. The transitive property of congruence says two figures congruent to the same figure are congruent to each other. So if angle A is equal to angle B, and angle B is equal or congruent to C, then C and A are equal or congruent. You can go back and watch video number 29. Now, try to learn these proofs because you're going to be doing a lot of them, and these are going to really help you get better. And the best way to get good at doing proofs is to do a lot of them. In our next video, we're going to do a really popular one called Congruent Opposite Sides Proof. See you then.